हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टूडेज टॉपिक इज टेन परसेंट लॉ ऑफ एनर्जी ट्रांसफर इट इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग फूड चेन एंड फूड वेब स्पेसिफिकली द एनर्जी ट्रांसफर इन द ट्रॉपिक लेवल ओके दिस लॉ इट वॉज प्रपोज बाय लिंड मैन in 1942 you must understand it that the transfer of energy from one tropic level to another tropic level is always accompanied by the loss of energy this means when herbivores eat um plants so so exact transfer of energy is not feasible there is loss of energy in a similar way when carnivores they eat up herbivores so 100% energy is not transferred there is loss of energy and this loss of energy it was proposed and uh, a law was framed by lindman okay now let me explain when the plants are eaten by herbivores about 10% of energy in the food is fixed into animal flesh while 90% is consumed in uh, life processes for example in ingestion respiration maintenance of body heat and other activities that also include reproduction so this means in each tropic level there is only 10% of energy transfer and 90% of energy it is consumed by the organisms itself similarly <laughs> when a carnivore consumes that herbivore again about 10% of energy is transferred and 90% again that is lost therefore at each tropic level only 10% of energy is actually available to the next tropic level and this law it is known as 10% law of energy transfer you can better understand with an example for example producers they have 1000 kilocalories of energy so when herbivores eat these plants a producer which has 1000 kilocalorie of energy how much energy will be in that particular herbivore it will be 100 kilocalorie and similarly when a carnivore that can be a lion okay when it or any other animal okay when e- it eats up the herbivore how much energy does it get it gets 10 kilocalorie okay is it clear did you understood respiratory loss gradually it increases in the successive tropic levels for example it is 20% 30% and 60% at producer consumer and top carnivores level there are two important terms which are associated with energy one is standing state or standing quality and another is standing crop firstly understand what is standing state or quality it is a amount of all the inorganic substance which is present in ecosystem per unit area at a given time okay whenever you are talking about energy biomass or anything two terms are associated with it one is area and other is time so standing state it is a organic substance which is present in the ecosystem per unit area at a given time what is in organic matter it can be minerals there are so many minerals phosphorus calcium uh, sulfur etc so it is that amount now standing crop amount of living material which is present in different tropic levels again at a given time and in a given area okay
It is expressed as a number or a biomass of organisms per unit area. Clear? In next lecture, I will discuss food chain and food web which are associated with uh, energy. Thank you for listening to this lecture. In case you have any query, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com.